एवरीवन आई एम विक्रम सालम के एंड वेलकम टू द एक्स एटी सिक्स असेंबली कोर्स नाउ लेट्स लुक एट द सेकेंड प्रोग्राम इनपुट एंड आउटपुट सो दिस इज अ प्रोग्राम फॉर इनपुट एंड आउटपुट लेट्स फर्स्ट लर्न इट एंड लुक एट वॉट इज हैपनिंग हियर फर्स्ट वी नीड टू पुट अ ब्रेक पॉइंट सो आई एल पुट अ ब्रेक पॉइंट हियर देन क्लिक ऑन बिल्ड बेल्ड सोल्यूशन सो वी हैव सक्सेसफुली कंपाइल द प्रोग्राम नाउ वी नीड टू रन इट टू रन क्लिक ऑन दिस प्ले आईकॉन ओके सो इट्स आस्किंग एंटर यूर एज लेट्स टाइप इट ट्वेंटी आफ्टर दैट इज आस्किंग नेम लेट सेंटर माई नेम विक्रम द वैल्यूज विच वी हैव एंटर्ड आर आउटपुटेड बाई द प्रोग्राम एज ट्वेंटी नेम विक्रम ओके टू स्टॉप द एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ अ प्रोग्राम वी नीड टू क्लिक अ स्टॉप आईकन हियर स्टॉप डिबगिंग ओके सो नाउ लेट्स लुक एट वॉट इज दिस प्रोग्राम डूइंग सो the first line is hash include scdio.h it is a preprocessor command which telling the c compiler to include scdio.h file before going to actual compilation next line is integer main main function where program execution begins and open bracket telling the compiler that main program's body has been started next is a integer age so what we are doing we are defining the age variable with integer data type which we have seen earlier so the next is a character name square bracket 100 so what we are doing we are defining a character array of a size 100 for variable name what is the array that we will see in upcoming slides next we are using the printf statement we are asking for age by printing it on a screen such as enter your age so now we are using the scanf function defined in stdio.h file so what we are doing we are getting the input from a user and storing it in a age variable so we are using percent %d for integer next we are asking the name by printing enter your name on a screen then we are getting input from user and storing in a name variable we are using percent %s because the name is a string and we want to save that into a character array that's why we are using the percent %s the next line is we are printing what user have entered onto the screen so we'll use the percent %d to print the integer and we'll use the percent %s to print the string on a screen and the next line is as usual written zero and terminating the main program's body so now look at the arrays so array is a stored fixed size sequential collection of elements of the same type so to define an array we write integer num square bracket 6 so what happens the six memory locations will be given to the variable name to save the six elements of a same data type another way we can write the array such as integer num equals 100 200 300 400 and 600 so what is happening here we are given the six memory locations for the integer num variable then on the zeroth location we will save the 100 on the first location we save the 200 then 300 400 500 and 600 on to the third fourth and fifth location so remember this thing array start with the zero till the n minus 1 right so we also can access a single element from that array such as a if we want to access just a zeroth element of array we can use num of a zero if we want to access a first element we can use num of a one and so on we can access every element of array from 0 to 5 so this is all i have planned for this video if you have any doubts any questions you can mail me on vikram@vmasters.com or you can tweet me at vikram salunke20 thank you